Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and in today's GTA 5 video I'm going to be showing you guys all of my cars, uh, all of my garages in GTA and we're going to be going through each one. We're going to have a look at the hangar as well at the airport but I basically just wanted to show you guys all of the cars that I own in 2020 in GTA 5 and um, yeah it's just a little fun video I wanted to show you guys some of my really cool cars um, you might not think they're cool um, some of them um, but some of them you might really like and you want to take some inspiration from them so uh, yeah that's basically why I'm doing this video so let's start it off at the first garage Okay, so this is the first garage we're going to be looking at. This is my stilt house um, apartment garage. And each garage has sort of got a theme. So the theme of this garage was um, sort of rare exotic cars from real life. So like classic, um, like high-end classic cars. Uh, so let's just start in this corner. We've got the Coquette Classic over here. Uh, I've got it in a nice red colour. Um, there's not much customization on this car, but uh, I've just gone for some chrome tip exhaust and some nice chrome muscle wheels. And then over on this side, we've got the uh, Grotti. I can never remember the name of this thing, um, but it's a Grotti car. It's really nice looking, actually. And I've just gone for a simple look with this, kept the stock wheels just because they fit the car quite nicely. And then I just went for like a simple racing livery on that one. Then over here, we've got the Benefactor Sterling GT. I've gone for a sort of ocean sea green here. So there's like a pearlescent blue on there. And I think this is sea green. And then I just went for some low rider wheels on there. And other than that, I've not really changed much just because there's not much customization, but I just like how the car looks anyway. Back to this side, we've got the um, JB700W. So this is the, the new JB700, not the one we've had in the game from original. And you can tell because the, the guns that should be usually here on the fenders are actually I took those off um, I don't understand why the original one didn't have weapons but you know that's Rockstar for you so this one you could remove the weapons and I really just wanted a non weaponized look for the GB for the JB 700 and finally Rockstar added it so that's why it's in this garage oh and I think I've got the yeah the bonds number plate on the back as well then we move over to the Casco. This is the Lampadati Casco. This is a really cool car. Um, it's very underrated in my opinion. I've had this car um, from the start of the game. It was one of the first cars that I purchased. There's not much customization with it, but it sounds really nice. Um, it's pretty fast in its category as well. Um, I've just gone for a nice simple red and then just the same muscle wheels as I had on the Cockett Classic and I think it looks really nice. In the next car we've got the Mamba Topless. So this is based off the Shelby Cobra, the AC Shelby Cobra. And I kind of wanted to make it look like a uh, Shelby. So that's why I've gone for the dark blue with the white stripe. Um, I think it looks really nice and I've just gone for some nice low rider wheels on there. Other than that, not really done anything with the car. I prefer the topless version. The hard top version just looks a bit weird in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice car. Then back over to this side, we've got the Lampadati Monroe. So this is the, um, the Lamborghini Mura in real life. Really cool car in real life. I quite like it in GTA as well. It's... Um, 
it's a very nice looking car there's no customization pretty much on this car but i like how it looks um so i've just painted it orange other than that i've kept it stock um obviously i've upgraded the engine and stuff but the wheels they're just the stock wheels and uh yeah i think it looks really nice then we've got the z type the Truffade Z-Type, this is um, based off the Lamborghini 57 Atlantica. Um, really nice car, very expensive in real life. The real life version of this is about 30 million. Um, luckily it's not that crazy in GTA. Um, but this thing looks really nice. I've kept it pretty stock because I just like how it looks. I went for the vents on the bonnet just to give it a bit of a classic look. And other than that, I didn't really change anything. I just liked how it looked and I kept it in this nice dark black color. And the final car in this garage, we've got the Grotti Stinger GT. So this is the GT version. Um, not really keen on the regular Stinger. It looks a bit weird, but the GT version is really nice. And I believe this is based off the 1968 Ferrari 250 GTO, which again is a very expensive car in real life. It's about 40 million. Um, so again, it's not too bad in GTA. Both these cars are about 900 grand. Um, but I've just gone for a very simple look. Again, there's not much customization with this. So I just kept it in a nice simple red and kept the simple stock wheels on there okay so the next garage we're going to be having a look at is my uh, motorcycle clubhouse garage um, so before we just look at this garage I want to disclose that I really know nothing about motorbikes I'm not really a biker guy uh, I prefer cars but there is a couple of bikes in GTA that I do quite like uh, sort of must own bikes so let's just go into it we've got the oppressor on this side oppressor mark one i refuse to buy an oppressor mark two the oppressor mark one was overpowered as it was um so yeah i've got the oppressor mark one i won this on the lucky wheel so it didn't really cost me anything so I wouldn't really buy this thing it's really not worth the price but I won it so I might as well just keep it and I've got a nice simple green and orange uh, green and matte black finish on there and just some green wheels looks quite nice over this side we've got the Chimera I really like this thing actually um, it's the first trike I believe that we got in GTA um, just gone for a nice simple metallic green and then I've just got a white pinstripe livery not really much you can change on this bike but it's really cool so yeah then back over to this side we've got a World War 2 looking bike I cannot remember what this bike is called again I know nothing about bikes even in GTA um, but I wanted to make like a World War two sort of looking motorcycle and i think this is the benny's one um but this is a really cool bike and you can get that old livery on it so yeah then the next one we've got i think this is the hexa uh, so this has been in the game since day one it's basically the chopper that you can get from the stab city um which is the sort of like bike area up near Sandy Shores. Um, you can buy one of these. I think they're about 15 grand, which is nothing in GTA really. Or I think I just went and stole this one. And I painted it purple. I don't know if that will come out on camera, but it is purple. And I've just gone for some sort of nice spiky looking wheels. And then on this side... I can't remember what this bike is called either. I think it's called the Avarice or something like that. Um, but I actually really like this bike. It does look quite nice. Um, it's uh, gold. And then I just went for the nice simple white pinstripe. And just a nice side exit exhaust. It looks really nice. Uh, then we've got the... Oh, I cannot remember what this is called either. I think it's the BF700. Something like that. Um, 
It's basically like a KTM, uh, uh, like a KTM motorcycle. Um, not really much to say about this. It's an off-road bike. I quite like delivery, and I didn't have an off-road bike in my collection, so I thought, yeah, I quite like this. Shoved it in here, but I've never really ridden that thing. Then we've got the Batty 801. I actually do really like this bike. It's a nice sports bike. It's been in the game since day one. Uh, we've got the nice black wheels with the green sort of pinstripe round, and I just went for the lime green because I think it looks really good. And finally, we've got the brand new Rampant Rocket in the uh, in the back here. I had to put it in the back because those of you who have multiple ones of these will know that you can't actually get to the back of it. If I put this at the front of the garage, you can't get to the back of your garage. So I put this right at the back so it doesn't take up any room. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this thing, but I do quite li like the Jay Leno's Garage show on YouTube, and he featured it on that show. So when I saw that that was coming to GTA, I thought, yeah, I'll have a, I'll, I'll buy it. I had a bit of spare money, so yeah. Let's move on to the next garage. So my next garage is my Del Perro apartment garage. Um, not got many cars in here, only these four actually. Uh, the theme of this garage was modern muscle cars. I'm a big muscle fan, um, but I don't like mixing modern muscle with classic muscle. I just have an OCD thing about that. So, because there's not many modern muscle cars in GTA, I put them in this separate garage. So, starting over here, we've got the Vapid Dominator GTX and I really like how this thing looks actually um, just went for a nice simple yellow and black theme obviously I've got the black wheels with the yellow um, ring around I uh, just went for a nice simple spoiler on the back and other than that I didn't really change much I liked how the car was standard so I just tweaked the colour a little bit and added some nice wheels then over this side we've got probably one of my favourite cars in GTA that is the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire this thing was added in the Casino DLC I'm really glad Rockstar added it um, it's based on the um, Dodge Demon in real life really cool car in real life and Rockstar did an amazing job with this in GTA I just went for a nice simple uh, lime green with a silver pearlescent and then I just went for the, the two-tone with the black and the green and just some nice simple high-end wheels on there and it came out really nice I really like how this looks and uh, yeah the next car we've got the classic Dominator um, the Dominator that's been in the game from the day one um, I'm not a big Mustang fan I've got to admit but I do quite like the Dominator it's a very simple looking car and it's one of the better performing muscle cars in its class and I've gone for a sort of Shelby look with this again so I've just gone for the white and blue and then I've just gone for some simple sport wheels and yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with this it looks really nice and the last car we've got the Bravado Buffalo S, so this is Franklin's car from Story Mode. Um, we've gone for sort of like a red copper look on here, and then the matte black roof with the bonnet, and then just some sport wheels on there, and a little lip spoiler on the back. So that's that garage, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we move on now to my Office Garage 1. Um, so Office Garage 1 and Office Garage 2 are both full of muscle cars. I did mention I'm a muscle car fan and you're going to see that in these next two garages. Uh, but let's just hop straight in. So we've got the Sabre Turbo over here. Just the regular Sabre Turbo, not the Sabre Turbo Custom. 
because uh, I'm not a big fan of the Save Turbo Custom. Um, just went for the orange and the matte black and then just some simple Duke muscle wheels on there. Quite like this car. Not a huge fan of the Saber, but it is a uh, it is a muscle car, so I wanted to put it in here. Next, we've got the Cheval Picador, a very underrated car in GTA. Uh, I've just gone for a simple grey and then these nice sport wheels, but this thing handles pretty well. It's four-wheel drive as well, and it's one of the better muscle cars actually. Um, in the class so if you're doing muscle races then definitely pick up one of these they're pretty good for racing behind me we've got the vapid peyote so this is just a regular vapid peyote not the gasser um, I do have one of those so I'll show you that later now I know this is technically not in the muscle category but it is basically an old muscle car it's uh, based off the Ford Thunderbird in real life and I kind of made it look like a lowrider muscle car uh, just went for some simple lowrider wheels and then put the bug catcher on and I really like this car actually it's a really cool cruiser and it's good for car shows as well next we got the Tampa so this is just a regular Tampa um, just a simple build just the um, the bright green and the black and then I just went for the two scoops on the bonnet I believe this is the only car in the game that you can have two scoops on the bonnet so it's a really unique customization option and I really like this car it handles well it sounds really good as well and then I just went for some simple tuner wheels on there Next we've got the Vapid Blade. This is a really cool car. The original Gasser. It's been in the game since day one. This is actually a Gasser. Um, so I've just gone for the nice simple light blue look with the chrome strip up the side and then just some simple muscle wheels and the bug catcher on the bonnet and then just for a little bit of detail I decided to throw on the spoiler on the back just just to give it a little bit of a cool vibe uh, really like that car and again it's one of the better muscle cars in its class so if you want a muscle car for racing then definitely pick up a blade next we've got my uh, Dukes this is the Imponte Dukes based off the 69 Dodge Charger and I kind of went for a Fast and Furious build with this. Um, very simple, just went for black with the bug catcher and then I put on the muscle wheels. And I had them chrome originally but I decided to paint them black uh, just because it looked a little bit better. So that's that one there. And then we're going to head upstairs onto the next level. So then we've got the Tornado, the, uh, again this is, this is actually a, in the sports classic category, so it's not technically a muscle car, but I mean it's based off the Chevy Bel Air, which is actually, like it's, it's a classic muscle car in my opinion. Gone for a nice simple build on there, just uh, I went on holiday to Cuba and I saw a Bel Air there that looked like this and I decided to try and make it in GTA and I really like how it looks. And behind me we've got the Rapid GT Classic, so this is the Aston Martin V8 in real life. Really nice looking car, really glad they added this to GTA Online. Just went for a simple green with the white stripes, kept the stock wheels and then just a simple uh, slit in the bonnet but other than that I liked how it was just standard next we've got the Imponte Phoenix another really cool muscle car and I believe it is only one of two cars that can have this big wing on the back the other being the Gauntlet Classic but I don't think the Gauntlet Classic suits that but this car really does it looks amazing with that wing on the back just went for a black and orange and some simple muscle wheels and then i just went for a skirt on the bottom just to add a little bit of a race vibe 
and yeah it came out really nice really like how this thing looks the next car we've got the Vapid Ellie um, so this is the Eleanor Mustang um, not much to say about this one just went for the red with the white stripes and then just some nice tuna wheels there's not much customization on this thing but I like how it is just a stock so just tweaked it to my uh, to my tastes but yeah then we've got probably one of my favorite cars in this garage the Impaler the Class A Impaler this came in the Arena Wars DLC and we got a lot of muscle cars in that DLC but this is definitely my favorite car from that update um, it's based off the Chevrolet Impala in real life um, just went for a nice simple purple with a metallic bright purple and then just some simple muscle wheels and lowered it right down and again this is a really cool cruiser it's not a very good race car but it's nice and slow and it's good for uh, good for car meets then we've got the Vapid Chino Custom so this is the lowrider version just gone for a simple green theme with the white pinstripe and just some nice lowrider wheels on there and I really like this car as well this is another really cool cruiser good for car meets and uh, it has the hydraulics on as well which are really cool then we've got the Willard faction that is just the regular faction it's not the custom version because for some reason the lowriders when you get the custom versions they have really small wheels and it just didn't look right on this car um, I like the wheels to be nice and big so I've just got the regular version this is a really cool car very underrated in my opinion uh, it's based off the Buick Grand National and they did actually have one of these in uh, Fast and Furious as well um, so that's another really cool car right there and then on to the next level we've got my Hot Ring Sabre um, gone for a purple theme here with the fiery sort of livery um, there's not much you can change on this you can change the wheels the livery and the color of the car but other than that it's pretty stock uh, but it's a really cool car and obviously you've got to have one of these if you want to do the hot ring races so that's why I've got that then we've got the drift tamper so a very underrated car in my opinion I really like the tamper it's really cool um, uh, sorry the drift tamper I mean it's a really cool car um, it's based off the Ken Block Hoonicorn and I've just gone I've tried to match that car as best I can with the gold wheels the ragarum livery and then just the simple black and I really like this thing it's not a great drift car and I think that's why it gets a bit of hate in the community but it looks really cool and it's quite fast as well then we've got my next drift car um, try to uh, match these two up a little bit and I wanted to put them next to each other this is the Hooney truck the uh, drift Yosemite in GTA and I've gone for a similar style with the gold wheels ragarum livery and tried to match it as close as I could to the real car and again this is a very sort of underrated car a lot of people like this car um, but when it got released in GTA um, it's got sort of a it's a drift car and it's very good at drifting but it does tend to spin out a lot and car guys were a little bit annoyed about that so it did get a bit of hate um, but I really like it I think it's an awesome drift car it looks really cool as well and so yeah then we've got the slam van custom so this is the custom the lowrider Benny's version this is a really cool car it's not very fast it's not very good handling but it looks awesome I've um, gone for a sort of a resto mod style with this so obviously you've got the hydraulics in the back and I went for a roll cage as well um, got some simple muscle wheels on and then I just went for the sort of bug catcher with the blue flames tried to make it look quite cool 
Then we've got a bit of a different car. We've got the BF Surfer. So this is not a car that many people will have in their garages, I don't think. But I think this thing's absolutely awesome. It's really cool. It's not very fast. It's not very good handling, but it looks cool. You can lower it to the floor if you want to. Um, and with the green and white sort of theme and the surfboard on, it's really cool for car meets as well. Then we've got the Bobcat XL. Um, so I use this mainly for towing things in GTA. So like the the um, the missile trailer, I use it for towing that just because it's uh, it's a souped up sort of pickup. I've fully modded this out. Gone for some sport wheels on the back, but obviously it has the tow bar on the back, so that's why it's quite useful. And the last car in here, I've gone for a sort of ratty look. Uh, this is the Yuga Classic. Um, this is a really cool van. I was really happy when Rockstar added this in the Biker DLC. Gone for some side pipes on there and some extended wheel arches. And then I just went for the rusted livery and the, uh, the muscle wheels on there. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. Then we move on to Office Garage 2, which, as I mentioned, is also full of muscle cars. Um, we've got the Imperator over here. Just forgot the name of it briefly. Uh, this is obviously the Mad Max Interceptor um, from the original Mad Max films. Really, really cool car. Um, so happy Rockstar added this. I, I went for a nice clean look with this. I wasn't a fan of the arena sort of style with this. I just wanted this as a cool muscle car. And I wanted to try and make it look like the Mad Max Interceptor as well. So I've got the bug catcher and the four side pipes on each side. And you can also add NOS to this thing which I have applied. Because it's obviously an arena car. And yeah, it looks really cool. Really glad Rockstar added that car. Then we've got the um, Buccaneer Custom. Another low rider. Just a simple one. Went for the orange with the white pinstripe. I'm not a big fan of loads of wacky, crazy builds with the low riders. I just like the nice, simple pinstripes like this. Um, but that's another really cool car show car. And yeah looks really cool as well then we move over to the Vigero this has been in the game since day one um, just went for a nice sort of simple build of this just red with some stock muscle wheels on there other than that didn't really change anything I just liked how it came out and so I sort of stuck with it uh, actually, I did change up the exhaust, which you can't really see that well, but um, it's got some nice chrome tips on the back as well. But yeah, it's a really cool car. Then we've got the Vamos, which I believe was also added in the Arena War DLC, based off the Chevy Nova in real life. And I really like the look of this thing. It looks incredible. Um, gone for the blue with the black stripes over the bonnet and just some simple muscle wheels and then just a little lip spoiler on the back unfortunately those of you who own this car will know that this has a sort of weird handling quirk with it so that's why you won't see this out in free roam much um, just because the handling on this thing is not great uh, but for car shows this is a really cool car and I really like the car so, yeah, I'm not going to be selling it, but I just don't drive it very much. Then we've got the Piote Gasser. So I mentioned earlier, I've got one of these. I really like this car. <laughs> I like a lot of the cars I own, but um, this is one of my favourite cars. Um, this was added in the original Casino DLC. And I was very happy when I discovered this was going to be coming out in the game. Because we don't really have a proper gasser in GTA. So I was really happy that we were getting one. Um, looks really cool. 
gone for the gasser hood with the um, the little oil tank thing on the front and then just a nice simple faded livery with the green and I think it looks really good then we've got the tulip I have to remember all names of these uh, cars it's not very easy uh, the tulip this came out in the arena war DLC as well a very underrated muscle car in my opinion I really like how this thing looks. Gone for a yellow with a simple black livery on there and just some simple muscle wheels. They just went for a little lip spoiler. Uh, but the cool thing about this car is it is actually a four door muscle car. I believe it's the only four door muscle car that we have in the game. So if you want to use the muscle car for heists and stuff, uh, then I definitely recommend getting a tulip because of the four doors. Then on the next level, we've got the Nightshade. This is a really cool car, the Imponte Nightshade. Originally, I didn't like the Nightshade just because I didn't think the, the, the wheel arches looked right. I thought they were too big. And then I built this car and I fell in love with the Nightshade. It's an absolutely incredible car. Um, went for a nice sort of stealthy looking build with this one. So I've got some high-end wheels on there, went for the side pipes and then I just went for the lip spoiler and I kept the stock hood and the stock front end and I think this thing looks really cool, it's a really fun car to drive and it's a pretty good handling muscle car as well. Then we've got the Viscerous, so this is actually not a muscle car but I kind of consider it a muscle car. Um, it, it looks sort of like a muscle car in my opinion so I decided to just put it in this garage um, this is a really cool car it sounds incredible if you've never heard one of these then watch a video of, of this car they sound really cool got the pop-up headlights as well which is a nice feature uh, got the simple triangle spoiler on the back and then just some muscle wheels on there and I went for the wide body kit as well then we've got the Imponte Ruiner so again this car has been in the game since day one and I wouldn't normally have this car in my garage but since we got the updated liveries on this car I decided to get one and I built this car with the black and the yellow and I really liked how it looked so I decided to keep it in here so just gone for the the black and the yellow and then just the nice tuna wheels with a bit of tyre lettering going on and then just went for that classic hood scoop on there then we've got another one of my favourite cars this is the Bravado Gauntlet Classic so this is based off the classic um, Dodge Challenger the 70s Dodge Challenger so I put the Challenger wing on the back and I tried to make this thing look uh, like the the the, um, the the Vanishing Point Charger, that's the one I mean. And it just didn't look very good so I decided to build it in orange and then it just looked incredible. So I stuck with it. So I just went for the nice carbon fibre hood and carbon fibre wing and then just some simple tuner wheels on there. Next we've got the, oh, I cannot remember the name of this thing, the Voodoo I think it's called, yeah. Um, another low rider, this is the, the custom version obviously. So I've just gone for the nice simple pinstriping again and just gone for some gold muscle wheels on there. Looks really nice, really like this car. It's not very fast but it looks really cool at car shows. The only thing that I don't like about this car is the tiny wheels. I wish we had some bigger wheels, but other than that, I really like this car. Then we've got the Yosemite. This is just a regular Yosemite. And I went for a race car build with this. This, I believe, is the best muscle car in its category for racing. So if you do a lot of muscle races or you just like street racing with muscle cars then the Yosemite 
is actually the best muscle car that you can buy so I've gone for a nice simple light blue build there with the black livery and then I just went for the stock tires and the hood scoop on the back and then I just decided to put a roll cage in the back and I really like this thing and it handles incredibly well then we've got the uh, the Lurcher this is the hearse version of the Buccaneer it came out with the Halloween DLC uh, it's kind of a unique one because if you didn't buy it at Halloween you can't actually purchase this um, you can only buy this at Halloween so that's why I decided to buy this thing uh, it's pretty fast actually and it can do wheelies as well so if you want a hearse that can do wheelies then I would definitely recommend it and you can actually put a big um, hood scoop on as well but I just decided not to okay so on the next level uh, the first car we've got the stallion over here it's um, just in a nice red colour got some simple tuner wheels going on there I like the nice chunky tyres on the muscle cars um, quite a nice car the only thing that I wish we could get the the spoiler off the burger shot stallion on this I think that would just improve it um, a whole lot but other than that a really nice car then we've got the General Lee um, this is the Dukes another Dukes um, the only car that I actually own two of in the game and I really like the Dukes of Hazard. I tried to make this as closely as I could to the real life version. Unfortunately, we can't get the Ram bar on the front, but I went for the uh, Charger wheels, the Mercenary Muscle wheels. We've got the 01 Crew logo on the side. Unfortunately, we can't get the um, Confederate flag, so I've gone for the American flag instead. Got the roll cage in there, and then I've just gone for the general number plate you can see down there. And then, I don't know why there's a gap here, but there is, so <laughs> ignore that. Um, we've got the Hermes, really, really cool looking car. Um, went for this sort of dark metallic blue colour, so I don't know if you can actually tell uh, if that's going to come out on camera, but this is actually dark blue. And then I've just gone for the Ghost Flames, which also I don't know if they're going to show up. Uh, but there's some ghost flames on there and then I just went for a simple sort of low rider build with this um, again this is not really a, ra a racing car it's just a cruise car that I take to car shows but I really like how this thing looks and it sounds incredible as well then the next car we've got the vapid click this is a fairly new muscle car um, doesn't really look like a muscle car it's sort of more of a, a classic car but it is actually in the muscle category um, and I tried to make it look just sort of like a mean resto mod like classic NASCAR almost so it's got the stripped interior in there and I wanted to try and match that on the outside so we've got the chrome plated side pipe down there and then we've just got some simple muscle wheels, alloy muscle wheels with the tyre lettering. And then I've just gone for a black, uh, matte black paint on there. And um, I think it looks really nice. It's quite simple. Um, it's a pretty fast car as well in the muscle category. And I think it fits quite nicely. The next car is, it's not really a muscle car. It's sort of based off two cars. The back is actually based off a muscle car. It's based off a Chevy Nomad and the front is based off like an old Volvo Amazon. Um, so it's kind of a muscle car, kind of not, but I think it just fits in this garage. So I decided to put it in here. Um, went for like a surfer hipster style with this one. Uh, so we've got the nice sort of metallic light blue going on. I think this is a surf blue. Just went for some simple sport wheels and the surfboard on the roof and then other than that really not done too much i decided to put the skirt on the front the uh, the splitter down there just because it looks quite good uh, but other than that i've kept it fairly stock then we've got a movie car so this is the a-team van um 
yeah, basically just tried to build the A-Team van. We got the mercenary muscle wheels down there in the red with the tire lettering. We got the red stripe going on the side. We got the red spoiler. And um, there's not really much you can do with this. I've got the A-Team number plate you can see down there. Uh, so this is the Gang Burrito. Really cool vehicle. It's not very fast, but I, I quite like movie cars. So... Uh, and I really like the A-Team as well, so to have the A-Team van is, yeah, a really cool vehicle. Okay, so then we move on to office garage number three, and as you can see from the cars on this bottom floor, this is sort of like a Tuners Outlaws, um, uh, Fast and furious -y type, um, like street racing garage, basically. And we start off in this corner with the Comet Retro Custom. So I went for like a sort of touring car look with this. I mean, it's already kind of like a race car vibe with the wide body and everything. So I wanted to just sort of accentuate that. So um, yeah, just going for a nice simple uh, hood there with the two sort of slits in the hood um, we've got the big wing on the back just because I think it suits this car quite well um, other than that didn't really change too much I quite like how the car is anyway um, just gone for this nice metallic -y red colour and just some simple Benny's wheels on there as well but I really like this car it's really fun to drive and uh, it's a pretty good race car as well then we got the Banshee 900R, so this is the Benny's version, the wide body version if you want. Um, I've gone for the uh, Tokyo Drift sort of veil side RX-7 build with this, so this is Han's RX-7. Um, I've tried to replicate it as best I could. Um, so we got the orange going on with the black livery got the wing on the back you can't get it 100% accurate because this is part RX-7 part Dodge Viper so you're never going to get it exactly the same but it's pretty close and I just like how it looks in GTA so um, yeah another really cool car then we've got uh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse so this is supposed to be Brian O'Connor's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the Fast and the Furious, the first Fast and Furious film, and uh, this is the My Bat Super Number in GTA. So yeah, not really too much to say about this. I painted it lime green and put the livery on, um, and tried to make it look like that car because I like the car in the movie. So uh, yeah. Then we've got the Valira the Bravado Valira. This is a really cool car actually. Very underestimated in my opinion. There's some great customization on this car and it sounds incredible as well. And you can actually get some pretty big spoilers on this thing. So um, yeah, I've gone for a nice dark green build with this. Try to go for sort of a another touring car, like race car kind of vibe. Um, but I wanted to keep it like quite street and quite clean as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. The next one, we've got the Karen Karuma. So this is just a regular Karuma, obviously not the armoured one. Um, I just wanted to go for sort of a, like a midnight club street racing, like underground kind of vibe with this. But I wanted it to be like a daily driver kind of vibe as well. So uh, sort of like a street car that you could drive every day. So just going for some nice simple sport wheels, uh, got the stock spoiler on there, um, just because I like how that looks. Uh, gone for a nice little skirt and a bit of a splitter on the front, but other than that, just going for this sort of ni nice dark grey metallic colour, and yeah, I was really happy how this one came out. Then we've got the Sultan Classic, so this is one of the new cars added in the Diamond Casino heist. A really, really cool addition to the game. Very happy that Rockstar added this car. It's based off the old Subaru P1. And there's a little bit of Mitsubishi in there as well. Um, but I think mainly it's based off a of Subaru, obviously being Karen. Uh, so I just went for the nice white and black build. 
um, found this nice black livery and uh, there's a few different parts you can change on here and then I just decided to go with the gold wheels and obviously had to put the hood scoop on there it's not a Subaru if it doesn't have a hood scoop on in my opinion um, but yeah I was really happy how this one turned out sort of a rally car-esque one um, with the hood scoop and the roof scoop but again really cool So then up to the second level, um, we've got over here the Coquette, uh, the Invetero Coquette. This is a really underestimated car in the sports, cla uh, sports class. Yeah, sports class. Um, looks really cool based off the Chevrolet, not the Camaro. I can't remember what the other one is called. It's like the Chevrolet sports car. It's like the Dodge Viper, but the Chevrolet version. You guys are going to scream at me in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I really like this build. Um, gone for the big spoiler on the back. And then just some simple high-end wheels. Um, so sort of the orange and black theme with this. But I really like this car. It sounds incredible. It's really fast as well, surprisingly. And it's got some pretty good customization, um, which is, is rare for some of the older cars in GTA. Um, the Corvette, that's what this is. It's a Chevy Corvette, the new Corvette. Then we've got the Sultan. So this is just a regular Sultan, not the Sultan RS. Not a big fan of the Sultan RS. Don't really like the wide body on it. And the exhaust is annoying as well, that you can't remove that side exhaust. Uh, but the regular Sultan is actually really cool. I really like this. Uh, again, based off a of Subaru. Um... Went for sort of a rally car slash street car build with this, kind of a rally cross sort of look. So you could take this off road, um, but you could use it in street races as well. Um, quite a simple one, just the diffuser on the back, just a small sort of Subaru spoiler, simple sport wheels, and then just this sort of, I think this is um, lava red, I think that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, just got a nice metallic-y orange on there. Then we've got the Comet. So this is just the regular Comet, not the SR. Just the Comet that's been in the game since day one. Um, gone for a, like a touring car sort of look with this one as well. Just the simple sport wheels with the blue. And then just the big spoiler that you can get on this car. Um, I didn't really want to do too much to this. I like it kind of how it is, quite stock. Um, so I wanted to go for like a daily driver sort of thing as well. Then we've got the Elegy Retro Custom. So this is the um, old Nissan Skyline. It's sort of a combination of a few different Skylines. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge Skyline fan. So all of the Skyline fanboys from Fast and Furious... I really don't see what the fuss is about. I d I'm not a big Skyline person, but I think it looks really cool with this livery. This is actually a Fast and Furious livery, um, but I didn't really want to go for the Fast and Furious build with this. I just I just wanted a green car in this garage, and I painted this green, put the livery on, and I just liked how it came out. So we've got the green seats on the interior as well. And then just a simple little spoiler on the back. But I was really happy with this. It sounds really good. It's pretty fast in its category. And yeah, it's green. <laughs> Who doesn't love a green car? Then we've got the Jester Classic. And you can clearly see I've gone for the Fast and Furious build with this one. Um, big fan of the Supra from uh, the Fast and the Furious. Um, so I wanted to try and make that car in GTA. But I didn't really like the wheels from the movie. Um, I prefer these wheels that I have on it. But other than that, I've tried to make it as close to the movie car as I could. Um, you can't get all the bits in GTA, but you can get the livery and the colour and the bonnet. Unfortunately, you can't get the spoiler. Uh, you can get the wheels, but obviously I don't like the wheels, so I change those up. But I really like this, obviously, with the orange seats as, as well for the matching interior looks really good then we've got the pariah so i'm not really sure what this car is based off 
Um, I think it's based off sort of a Ferrari and a little bit of a Corvette and uh, a little bit yeah it's it's a f combination of a few different cars um not overly keen on the looks of the pariah but it's obviously the fastest sports car we have in the game at the moment well in the straight line anyway so in my opinion this is a must own vehicle in gta and yeah i was actually really happy with the customization on this thing it has quite a lot of parts you can change on it you can make it look very unique if you want to and yeah i've gone for the orange and matte black style with this i think it looks really good and uh, yeah it's pretty fast as well then we got the sentinel classic another really nice retro -y 80s style car um gone for the nice simple uh, classic BMW spoiler on the back uh, went for a roof aerial wanted to keep this kind of like an 80s uh, retro sort of look but then also like a resto mod um, so we got the fog lights on the front and the the uh, oil cooler down the bottom just some simple sport wheels and then I've just gone for a black and red sort of theme I, I kind of went for the bmw m theme with this car and i think it looks really nice and then on to the final level of this garage we've got the emirus so this is a progen emirus based off the mclaren senna i believe um not overly fond of the looks of this thing, but I won it on the lucky wheel, so I mean, I got it for free. It's not a big deal. Um, I've never been a fan of the McLaren Senna spoiler that much, um, on this car anyway, so I went for this sort of nicer spoiler. Kept the stock wheels, went for this sort of like digital livery, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice car, um, but definitely not one of my favourites. But I'm not going to sell it because I got it for free. And it's pretty fast as well. It's one of the fastest supercars in the game. So Then we've got the Entity XXR. A really nice car actually. The old Entity that we have in the game. I quite like that car. And I owned that car for a number of years. But then when this came out I just sold it. Because I think this thing looks a lot better than the regular Entity. And it has a lot better customization. Um, and I just love the single middle exhaust on this thing as well. It looks incredible. Gone for the yellow and black theme here. Nice simple build, but I was really happy how this one came out and definitely a keeper. Then we got the Grotti Bestia GT, uh, GTS I think. Uh, so at the front, sort of a Dodge Viper. Um, front end's definitely from a Dodge Viper. And then the back is sort of from a Ferrari. The overall car is actually based off a Ferrari. And no idea which one. Um, but I do know it's based off a Ferrari. Obviously it's in the Grotti family. Uh, but the front does have some Viper vibes going on. So I decided to paint it in this green colour. Went for the lip spoiler on the back. And then just some simple sport wheels. And a little bit of venting going on on the bonnet. But I really like this thing. I wasn't actually too happy with the car when I first bought it. But then I customised it. And um, yeah, I really liked how it came out. Then we've got my Progen PR4. So this is probably my newest car in the whole collection. This is one of the new Formula 1 cars that we've got in the game. So we've got the Ocelot R88. Or the Progen PR4 which I've got here um, again won this on the lucky wheel so I would never really buy one of these Formula 1 cars they cost like 3 million which is ridiculous price in my opinion but um, yeah it's alright then we've got the last car in this ca uh, garage we've got the Scramjet got it in a nice orange color here went for the simple muscle wheels and then just a black sort of flamed livery on. Again, this is one of those must-have cars in my opinion. It's 
a pretty good all-round car it's got the rocket boost on so i definitely recommend if you're starting in gta get a car or vehicle with rocket boost on um, it can jump as well which is quite handy so it has the ruiner 2000 jump feature and it also has very very good homing missiles so when these lock on something they hit their target basically um, so it's a pretty good all-round car and very useful for missions as well Okay, so then we move over to the nightclub garages and we just got this one car in the service entrance of the nightclub uh, This is the Windsor livery um, In us Windsor based off some Rolls-Royce. I don't really know Rolls-Royce is that well but I wanted to make like a muscle car Rolls Royce. Uh, so I went for this sort of gangster kind of look with this. Obviously this is sort of my nightclub car. I got the Galaxy number plate on there. Um, so I went for like a dark green with this. And then the snake skin sort of livery. And then just some simple high end wheels on there. You can't really do much with this vehicle. But it's very torquey. So you can drift th this thing quite well. It makes for a pretty good drift car. And it's just sort of my run around car for the nightclub. When I'm doing nightclub work. I just use this as sort of a run around. Uh, really nice car. And uh, definitely a keeper. Okay, so then we move over to Nightclub Garage 2. So this is kind of my classic supercars um, garage going on here. So we'll just start it off over in this corner. We've got the Infernus Classic based off the Lamborghini Diablo, I think it is. I think that's what it's called. Um, just went for a simple one with this. Yellow with the nice classic Diablo spoiler and then just the um, simple sport wheels on there obviously it has pop-up headlights really like this car um, big fan of it in real life and it looks pretty good in the game as well then we got the Torero based off the Lamborghini Countach um, went for like a simple Countach build with this so kept the stock wheels I think they really suit the car obviously got the V spoiler going on on the back uh, then other than that, I haven't really changed too much to the car. Again, pop-up headlights on this. Really cool car and it sounds incredible as well. Then we've got the regular Infernus. So the one that's been in the game since day one. Um, I really actually like this car. Very underestimated in my opinion. Really cool supercar. Sounds amazing. Looks really cool. Um, gone for a nice red with the stock spoiler and then just some nice sport wheels going on there I think it looks really good just a simple build um, it's pretty uh, pretty fast as well then we've got the Ocelot Ardent based off the Lotus um, I can't remember what Lotus this is based off I think it's just based off the Lotus XL um, Again, a simple build with this one. Just wanted to go for like a classic Lotus look with this one. Um, kept the stock spoiler, stock wheels. I think they look all right on this car. Pop-up headlights again. Um, unfortunately, we can't remove the sheet machine guns on this thing. Um, would have liked that to be an option, but yeah. And then just a simple oval exhaust on the back. Then we got the Stromberg. So this is based off the, the older sort of Lotus XL. So we've got two sort of Lotuses together. This is based off the James Bond Lotus. Um, obviously the submarine uh, Lotus from the Bond film. Went for just a simple orange look with this. There's really no customization on this car. Um, kept stock wheels as well just because I think they match the car quite nicely. And other than that, didn't change anything. Then we got the Adder, so this has been in the game since day one, uh, based off the Bugatti Veyron. Gone for a nice metallic -y sort of blue look on this, and some just simple high-end wheels. 
I wanted to give this sort of a fresh look because it's quite an old car in the game so I wanted to make this thing sort of look like it had just been released and I think it I think I did a good job with it I quite like how it looks and it's a pretty cool car actually it's very underestimated uh, looks really good then we've got the Deluxo based off the Back to the Future DeLorean obviously um, I've tried to customize this so many times and every time I try and do sort of a crazy look with this it just doesn't look right I like the DeLorean as is it just looks cool gone for the outer time uh, number plate on the back sort of Back to the Future reference there and I just went for the classic DeLorean look with this uh, kept the stock wheels I think it's honestly the best build look for the Deluxo then we've got the Tyrant this is a really cool race car actually based off um, a couple of cars actually but I think mainly the Celine S7 definitely the back end is based off that car unfortunately I wasn't able to remove the spoiler I would have liked to remove the spoiler but I don't know how you do that um, but this thing sounds incredible this is one of the best sounding cars in the game I don't really like the liveries on this thing that much so I went for a no livery look on this um, but this is my go-to race car for supercar races um, just a simple build with the um, I think this is just a blue with a metallic surf blue and then just some simple high-end wheels then we got the Vaca so also been in the game since day one really cool um, went for a orange look with this the diffuser on the back and then just the uh, classic sort of spoiler you can get on this and then just some nice sport wheels looks really cool pretty fast as well and uh, yeah great great looking car then we've got the final car um, I can't remember what this thing's called I'm just gonna jump in real quick um, oh yeah the cheetah classic I can't remember every car name so just bear with me uh, cheetah classic one of the best performing sports uh, classic cars in the game so if you do a lot of sports classic races then definitely get one of these it's well I think it might might be the best actually in its class um, sounds incredible looks incredible um, yeah not much to say about this change up the hood obviously gone for Ferrari red and then just some simple sport wheels on there looks really nice Then we move on to the next garage. This is just sort of like a compact cars slash um, just sort of like random funny little cars that I like in the game. I don't really think there's a theme with this garage. It's just like <laughs> these are the leftover cars and I shoved them in this garage. Um, but I think it's pretty good. I, I try and make garages look good as well. Um, so we'll start off in this corner we've got the uh, the Nebula Turbo the Volcar Nebula Turbo based off an old Volvo I went for a turbo brick build with this one obviously got the turbo sticking out on one side and then just some mud flaps and a simple spoiler and then like a moldy green color so I wanted this thing to be kind of like a sleeper build and I think it came out really well this is a incredible drift car so if you're into drifting get one of these because they're very talky not very fast um, but they're incredible for drifting <laughs> then we've got the dynasty the weenie dynasty based off the Morris Oxford mark 3 in real life um, or the Hindustan ambassador which is also based off of Morris Oxford um, I didn't really have an idea of how I wanted to build this thing you can get the taxi livery on this but everybody did that build when this came out so I wanted to go for one of the other liveries and I painted it grey just to customize it and then I put this livery on by accident 
and just from then I thought you know what I'm going to make this into a muscle car so put the muscle wheels on there and um, put some visor on and I actually really like it, it looks incredible got a little hood scoop going on as well and um, not very fast, not very good handling but it's great for car shows and everybody looks when you drive this in free roam then we've got the Warrener, uh, another really cool underestimated car in the game. It's been in the game since day one, but you probably wouldn't know that. It's a four-door car as well, which is uh, kind of um, kind of rare for these types of cars. Based off an old Nissan Skyline, I believe. Not really sure which one. Um, didn't really have a build plan with this one I just painted it this colour and I quite liked how it looked and then I just decided to go for sort of a um, like a drift kind of look with this so remove the back bumper and put the big bar exhaust on the back then just some simple tuner wheels on there and uh, um, the carbon fibre bonnet obviously and I actually really like this car. It's a simple build. It's a reasonably good handling car. Um, obviously, it's a four-door car, which is good for, like, heists and stuff. So if you're doing, like, a heist cinematic and you want a cool car, then definitely pick up a Warrener. Then we got one of the newer cars added in the Diamond Casino um, update. This is the Retinue Mark II. So based off the Ford Escort Mark II. Um, went for like a rally car kind of look with this so remove the back spoiler put in the roll cage hood scoop and the roof scoop on there and then I, I stuck this livery on and I think it just looks really good in green in this lime green and yeah I was really happy with this just some simple tuner wheels on there again just classic escort wheels on there and really glad that Rockstar added this then we've got the Benefactor um, Glendale in this corner over here. Went for like an orange rusty red kind of look. This thing has incredible suspension as well. You can slam this thing right down. So I've got this on the lowest you can get it now. It's not slammed but compared to what it is stock um, there's a big drop in the suspension. So if you're into that kind of like cruise mobiles um, like low rider ish looks then get yourself a Glendale um, just put some sport wheels on it and other than that there's not much customization on this thing but it's just a cool car as it is so yeah then we've got probably the most unique car in GTA um, we've got the Rhapsody um, based off a Mark on Escort at the front uh, sorry, not a Mark 1 Escort, a Mark 1 Golf at the front end and the back is sort of an AC uh, uh, AMC Pacer, I think that's what it is. Um, so it's kind of those two cars mashed together, but you can put the massive intake on this thing. So, yeah, why would you not put an intake on something like this? Um I just went for like a pocket rocket sort of build with this, wanted a, like a pocket hot rod and uh, I was quite happy how it came out. It's great for like hot rod car shows and stuff because uh, people don't always expect you to bring something like this. So yeah. Then we got one of the newer cars as well. Uh, this is the Dinka Ballista, Ballista Kanjo. Um, based off an old Honda Civic I think it's a mashup of a few old Civics um, but it is sort of based off an old Honda Civic um, I really like this car actually it's really bad performing I have to say that uh, but the customization on this thing is probably the best in the game so if you're into customizing cars and you like these kind of small hatchback things it's in the compact category as well I should mention then I would definitely recommend this car it's incredible customization it's not great to drive but it does sound quite good so yeah then we've got the um, 190Z so this is a really cool car was really happy that Rockstar added this thing 
Uh, I think this came out back with the gun running DLC, or it could have been with the uh, um, the Doomsday Heist. I can't quite remember. It was one of those two anyway. Um, I've got this car, well, the the Datsun version of this on the Crew 2, and I built that car back then uh, when I used to play that game, and I tried to just match that build on GTA, and this is as close as I could get it. Looks really good, just the carbon fibre bonnet, hard stand livery on the side, and then just some simple tuna wheels and the orange paint, and I think it looks really cool. Then we've got probably my favourite car in GTA. This is the Weenie Issy Classic. Obviously, you can tell why it's my favourite. Um, I tried to build this like my car in real life. So, for those of you who don't know, I do have a classic Mini in real life. And it's lime green with a white roof. It does have white stripes on the bonnet as well, which unfortunately we can't do in GTA. And my car in real life is called Henry, so I decided to put Henry on the number plate down there at the bottom. Really like this car. It's not great performing, but you can use it in the Weenie Issy Classic races. Obviously, I had to have this car because I have it in real life. Um, and you can also use it for the Vespucci job um, sort of missions, which is like a cops and robbers type game mode which is actually really fun so yeah and the final car in this garage we've got um, the Pigale I think it's pronounced this is based off like an old Citroen DS um, really cool car actually came out at the start of the game I believe um, very underrated in my opinion it's front wheel drive um, surprisingly and I think it's also in the compact category, which is kind of unique. Um, you never see these driving in free roam. So if you want a car that stands out, then I definitely recommend getting one of these. Went for just a bare metal look and then just some simple sport wheels. And yeah, I quite like this car actually. Then my next garage um, is the nightclub. Um, garage 4 so this is the last nightclub garage and as you can tell I've gone for a rally car build with this one so we'll start off in this corner again we've got the GB200 based off the Ford RS200 an incredible car in real life and I really like this in GTA it's very good handling although it does spin out quite easily but if you get used to the, the uh, spinning out, if you can learn to control it, then this is a really good handling car in uh, GTA. Got some great customization on it as well. And you can also get the Ken Block livery for this one. So if you want to build Ken Block's cars, then this is one of them. And you can actually get the Ken Block livery on as well. Then we got the Futo. So this is another sort of must-have car in GTA. Well, not really a must-have. This is just sort of a car that everyone has owned in GTA at some point. Um, it's very well known for being a good drift car in GTA. It was the original drift car in GTA. Um, it still is one of the best drift cars that we have in the game. And obviously it's Japanese. It's based off the... Um, the Toyota AE86 from the Initial D TV series. Um, so obviously that's a Japanese TV series. So I want to go with like a Japanese kind of drift style. So I've got the fog lights on the front. Obviously the Fukaru uh, livery on there. Got the tuna wheels and then just a big drift spoiler and roof spoiler on the back. And yeah, I really like this. Then we've got the, um, I can't remember the name of this car, it's the Grotti Brioso RA. So it's based off like a Fiat 695R bath kind of look. And I wanted to try and build it like an R bath in real life. Um, not a big fan of the liveries on this thing, so just went for a nice yellow and black sort of look with this. Not overly fond of this car. 
um, but I wanted a yellow car in this garage and this thing looks quite good in yellow so decided to just shove it in here then we've got one of Ken Block's cars we've got the um, the Flash GT Vapid Flash GT so this is based off uh, Ken Block's um, Fiesta um, his Rallycross Fiesta so I tried to build it as closely as I could to that car obviously the wheels don't match the car but these are the stock wheels which you can paint green got the green uh, door mirrors and that little panel on the back and then just went for the Ragarum livery which I think is supposed to be like monster in GTA and yeah you can't really change much on this car but it has all the bits on that you'd want anyway so yeah really like this car then in this corner we've got um, I cannot remember for the life of me uh, the Sylvester that's what it's called um, really hard to build a good looking car in my opinion with the Sylvester um, I've tried multiple times and failed and then I built this and I just absolutely love how this turned out it looks incredible so just went for a white um, white color with this and then obviously put the Spencer's livery on there and then you can't get this orange on the stripe to match exactly with the wheels but it's as close as you can get it and when you take it out in uh, free roam people don't really notice that much anyway but yeah it looks really cool and I'm really happy with that then we've got another one of my favorite cars in gta big fan of the lancia stratos and we finally got it in gta back in the cunning stunts dlc um so i can't actually remember what this is called in gta i'll just hop in and have a look uh, it's called the Tropos, the Tropos Rally. Um, just tried to make it look like a um, Stratos Rally car. So put the fog lights on. Obviously, it's got the pop-up headlights. Really like the stock wheels on this thing. So I decided to just paint those yellow with the eye fruit glitch. And then, uh, other than that, not much you can change. Put the livery on. Uh, but I have to say, if you're looking for a good handling sports car, this, in my opinion, is the best handling car in GTA. Not even just the best handling sports car, this is the best handling car in GTA. You can never spin out with this thing. If you try and spin out in this thing, it just refuses to. So you can take a corner at pretty much any speed you want. As far as uh, the new F1 cars go, if you're looking for a street version of the F1 car handling, then this is the car that you need to get. It can take a corner at pretty much full speed and it won't spin out. Then we got one of the newer cars added in the Diamond Casino heist, the Vagarant, the, um, the Maxwell Vagarant. A really cool car actually, it's based off the Aerial Nomad, obviously you can tell from the from the looks. Um, it's very expensive, I will say that. I think the trade price is about 1.6 million, um, which is definitely not worth 1.6 million, but I won this on the Lucky Wheel, um, so obviously I got it for free. So if you want a chance to get this for free, I believe this is the podium vehicle for this week. Um, so go and have a go and have a look at that some pretty decent customization on this car but honestly i just like how it looks uh stock just tried to make it look like sort of a normal aerial nomad so paint it orange and the rest is just black standard so yeah the next car we've got another really cool car this is the Lampadati Michelli GT based off the Lancia Fulvia um, absolutely incredible car very underrated in my opinion um, this sort of got overlooked a little bit when it came out um, I believe in the gun running DLC this came out um, but there was a lot of better cars that came out in that DLC or that's at least what the community thought but I was actually really excited when this thing came out and it has some really awesome customization on 
Um, some really nice liveries as well. Rockstar definitely spent their time on this vehicle. And uh, yeah, just went for a sort of Italian rally car build with this and was really happy with it. Then we got the regular retinue. So this is the retinue Mark 1. So based off the Mark 1 Escort. Um, quite like this car. Not overly fond of the Mark 1. Uh, prefer the Mark 2 actually. Uh, but I just wanted to go for like a rally car build with this. Obviously they're used highly as rally cars in real life. Um, so gone for the simple Escort wheels on there. Got the four fog lights on the front. And then just went for the douche livery and uh, put some mud flaps on to give it a sort of rally car vibe. But yeah, looks really cool. Definitely looks good in orange. Really nice car. Then the last car we got in here is the Weenie Issy Sport. One of the better sport cars in the game. Um, this thing is incredibly fast off the line. It barely gets any wheel spin when you set off in this thing. Um, it's got some amazing customization as well. So I've gone for like a rally car build with this. Obviously with the massive aero spoiler on the back. Um, and the diffuser as well. But I wanted to make this kind of look like a new version of my car. So obviously I've gone for dark green with the white stripes on the, on the bonnet and the roof. And then just kept the stock wheels and painted those black. And yeah, looks really nice. Good handling car. And it's got a lot of customization as well. Okay, so then we move over to the arena garages. I've got the arena garage workshop, obviously. And garage one. I've not got any more than that. Um... But as well as being a muscle car fan in GTA, I also love off-roading. So both these garages are sort of off-road style cars. Um, so starting over in this call corner, we've got the Canis Free Crawler. Um, quite an underestimated car again in GTA. Um, a lot of people have subjective feelings about the... Um, the appearance of this thing personally i didn't really like the look of this car um when it first came out but when i got to customization uh, <laughs> sorry when i got to customizing it i um yeah i built this and i really like how it looks actually it's got some very unique but really interesting customization as well um, went for a, like a green and black theme with this. Um, it's actually a pretty good off-roader as well. It's a very fun car to drive. Then over on this side, we've got the Vapid Trophy Truck. So if you like off-road racing, then you need to get one of these. It's the best off-road car in its class uh, for racing. Went for like a yellow and black sort of theme with this and obviously the white livery as well. So just paint the stock wheels yellow, paint the rest of the car yellow and yeah. It's not really got any customization but it's a pretty good looking car anyway. So yeah. Then we got the Merryweather Mesa which is actually a really cool car and a pretty decent off-roader as well. Uh, it's not very fast, but as far as off-roading goes, it is one of the better off-roader cars. Um, so I've gone for like an orange and black theme with this, obviously you can see. Um, so black roll cage and then just the orange car with the orange and black wheels. And decided to stick the tyre lettering on as well, just to make it look a bit more sort of mean. And yeah, I really like this car. It's pretty good off-road, as I mentioned. And um, yeah. Then on this side, we've got the... I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll just jump in and have a look. The I think it's... The, yeah, the Rumpo Custom. So I can't actually remember when this came out. I think it came out with the original Heist DLC. It looks like something that you would use in a heist anyway. Um, it's not a great off-roader. It's not very fast either. Um, doesn't really have any customization. Um, but I just like how it looks. The off-road kit on a van just amuses me. 
and it's quite fun for taking to like off-road car meets as well it's completely useless off-road um, but it looks pretty cool so yeah then we've got the Karen Everon this was added in the latest DLC as well um, based off the polar arctic sort of um, Toyota Hilux from Top Gear so when they did the uh, Polar Special, they took the Arctic pickup to um, to the North Pole. Um, I didn't really want to build it like the car from the TV show. You can if you want to. You can paint this red. You can get the boxes on the back. You can basically make it look identical to that car. But everyone did that when this car came out. So I wanted to see what else you could do with this. So I painted it this grey colour and put the sort of like American livery on there. And it actually looks really cool. It's a very good performing off-road car because of its great uh, ground clearance. As you can see, it's got massive tires. So if you're into off-roading and you want a car with good ground clearance, then definitely get this one. Then we've got over here um, the Vapid Contender. Uh, really cool pickup actually um, Can't remember when this one came out, but it is a really cool car. I think it came out in cunning stunts actually um, matte black Pretty fast off-road car actually um, very good um, Suspension as well, so it absorbs bumps very well. So the handling on this thing is pretty good It's reasonably fast as I mentioned not really any customization on this other than you can remove the sort of back box on this thing. Um, but yeah, it's got some cool stock wheels as well. So I left those on there. And I really like this thing. And then the final car, we've got the BF Injection over here. Sort of a dune buggy look for a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, a very under underestimated off-roader in GTA this thing has incredible off-road speed I think it's one of the fastest off-road um, cars uh, it's not really got any customization other than you can paint it you can't even change the wheels on this thing um, but I just decided to uh, paint it orange and black because it looks quite good and I actually like how it looks. It's a really cool looking car in my opinion. I wish Rockstar had given us more customization with this thing and I really wish we'd get a regular Beetle in the game as well. But yeah, I really like the BF Injection. Really cool car. Okay, so then moving on to the next off-road um, garage. Ignore the two Fagios. I have no idea what they're doing there. We've got the Vapid Guardian. Um, a big sort of Ford F like 550 or something like that. It's one of the big Ford pickups. It's supposed to be a uh, dual axle in real life, but I don't think Rockstar sort of have the ability to do that in GTA quite. So um, really cool car in my opinion. Well, truck more. Um, it's the only pickup I believe in the game that we can put. Um, stacks on so the exhausts uh, the big stacks and um, it's got pretty good ground clearance as well I've actually slammed this as low as it can go and it's still pretty big so you can have this even higher but it does tend to fall over if you do that and I really like the stock wheels on this thing as well so I left those on there and this is also a four door I believe which is quite useful if you want a big sort of heavy off-roader for heists and stuff then this is a really good vehicle for those then we've got the rusty rebel um, this is also another car that I reckon most people have owned at some point in the game um, but I sort of went for like a trophy truck like a rusted out trophy truck build with this one so painted it orange uh, put spare wheel and roll cage in the back and obviously the fog lights on the front Went for some nice off-road wheels with the tire lettering and decided to stick the crew logo 01 on the side 
um, just to sort of give it like a race car look and I actually really like this thing it looks pretty cool and it's got some decent customization for one of the early game uh, game cars as well then over this side we've got the Bigfoot monster truck from Mad Max Fury Road so this is a really cool vehicle in real life um, not overly fond of Mad Max to be honest with you but I really like this vehicle in that movie and yeah I was happy that we could get this in GTA so this is a Sasquatch in GTA and you get this by upgrading um, the rat truck in the arena workshop and it becomes this massive monster truck with big side pipes up the side and I fitted this with NOS as well um, so basically I just built this as a monster truck I'm not really a fan of the arena war stuff but I just wanted like a cool off-road monster truck that I could use in free roam and this is definitely that car then over here we've got the Sand King this is the short wheelbase Sand King so not the four door version just the two door version uh, just because there's a shorter wheelbase it's better for rock crawling um, again this is a car that I reckon most people have owned or do own in GTA just because it's the OG off-roader still to this day it's one of the best off-road uh, vehicles in GTA it's got great ground sorry it's got great ground clearance um, pretty good customization for what it is and um, it's very good at going up steep slopes as well and we got another one of the newer cars um, this is the Vapid Caracara 4x4 so we already had the 6x6 version which is the base of the Hennessy uh, 6x6 um, but unfortunately that has the turret in the back that you can't remove so if that didn't have the turret in I would also have the 6x6 but just don't like the turret in the back but the 4 door um, I like the 4x4 version that I have here is incredible some very good customization actually considering this is a pickup um, it's pretty fast as well it sounds incredible and yeah it's based off a really cool car in real life so I went for like a Shelby sort of build with this one obviously with the white stripes and yeah then we've got over here the coil brawler based off the rally fighter that I think was featured in uh, Fast and Furious 8 that's where it's sort of most notably um, featured um, sort of just went for like a, a dodge green with this so again the lime green with the silver pearlescent spare tire on the roof and the fog lights on the front not really a fan of the back bumper option for this car it just looks really weird so I left that off uh, but this is a great off-road sort of rally car so it's not great at rock crawling or like water or anything but just off-road racing in general this thing's pretty fast and uh, looks pretty cool as well and the last car we've got the Dubster 6x6 so this is a car that I think most people have owned at some point as well and it's surprisingly cheap for what it is I reckon if Rockstar added this in the game now it would be about 2 million um, but it's actually only 200,000 you can get this off the Warsaw Cash and Carry website um, I don't know why it's on there because it's not armoured in any way it's not weaponized in any way either um, but it's an incredible looking car based off um, based off the Mercedes 6x6 uh, pickup in real life looks really cool some pretty decent customization as well and um, again this is a really good off-roader for climbing up steep slopes so if you're going up Mount Chiliad this is one of the best vehicles for going up Chiliad in and it has incredible suspension actually um, so yeah okay so then we move over to my casino penthouse garage which um, I've got all my modern supercars in here uh, so we'll just jump in to the first one here we've got the 
Debocci Wagner. Um, quite an old supercar in GTA. Um, uh, it is one of the best supercars in the game. I believe to this day it is still one of the fastest supercars in a straight line. And it's also quite cheap as well. It's only 1.5 million, which sounds like quite a lot. Uh, but when you compare it to some of the other supercars in the game, um, it is actually one of the cheaper supercars, but it is one of the best handling. Uh, so just gone for a nice white and black theme with this. I think it looks really good in white. And um, yeah, just a big spoiler on the back. And yeah, not much to say about this one. It looks really good. Then we got the uh, Progen... Uh, I can't remember the name of this. It's really, uh, it's a really well-known uh, supercar. Uh, oh yeah, the T20, the Progen T20, based off the McLaren P1 in real life. And I tried to make it look like the real car as much as possible. Uh, so we've got the McLaren wheels on there. Obviously the scoop on the bonnet. And this one has a retractable spoiler as well. So if you like cars with that, then. Um, I'm sure most of you already know about this. Gone for like a dark metallic purple. So I tried to make this look like the P1 purple that you can get in real life. Really fast car, very good handling, cool retractable spoiler and still holds up pretty well in races as well. Then we got the, um, I can't remember the name of this thing either, bear with me. <laughs> The Tempest, the, yeah, of course. Um, so this is based off the Lamborghini Huracan, I believe. Um, gone for a nice green colour with this one, just with the simple uh, sort of two-scoop bonnet on the front and the classic Huracan spoiler on the back and then just some nice simple sport wheels. Other than that, kept it pretty stock. This thing sounds incredible, it goes incredible. Um, it's just very underestimated in my opinion. It's a pretty cool car. It's got some great customization as well. Then over in this corner, we've got the XA21. So it's the Ocelot XA21 um, based off the Jaguar concept car. I don't know what it's called in real life, but it's an incredible car. Again, with a retractable spoiler, one of the best sounding vehicles in the game as well. Seriously, this thing sounds incredible. But it is 2.2 million, so um, one of the more expensive vehicles in GTA as well. But this thing has incredible customization and uh, it's pretty, pretty good handling as well. Okay. Then we've got the. Um, can't remember the name of this thing either. The Taipan, Cheval Taipan. I'm really not a supercar guy, so I can't ever remember the name of these. Um, but this thing looks really cool, actually. I really like this thing. Um, it's based off the new Lotus, I believe. The new electric Lotus. I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, so I just went for a yellow build with this and yellow and black looks really cool nice and simple it's not that fast in gta unfortunately um there's actually sports cars that can beat this thing in a straight line uh, but it looks quite cool and it's something different to take to car shows as well won it on the lucky wheel as well so yeah it it didn't cost me anything just upgrades then we've got one of my favorite supercars actually which is I can't remember what it's called, but it is one of my favourites, the the Outarch, I think it's, or the Outarch, something like that, I never know how you pronounce it, but yeah, really cool car, based off the McLaren Senna in real life, um, obviously got the McLaren Senna spoiler on the back, um, looks really cool, it sounds really cool actually, it's a pretty good sounding car in real life. And uh, yeah, just went for the red and black sort of mis uh, Senna, McLaren Senna look with this. And the McLaren wheels on there as well. And then we go over to the other side. We've got here, I can't remember the name of this car either. The Reaper, Pegasi Reaper. 
Uh, so this is based off sort of like a new Lamborghini, uh, but I believe it is also based off the Lycan Hypersport that was featured in Fast and Fury 7. Um, really cool car. The stock wheels on this thing, which I have on at the minute, are really unique. They're the only stock wheels like this in the game. And they suit this car incredibly well in my opinion. So I decided to keep those on there. This thing just looks mean. Um, I just really like it. Then we've got another car that I can't remember the name of. This is the Grotti Vision. Based off a Ferrari. I couldn't tell you which Ferrari. Um, in my opinion it looks more like a McLaren. But you know apparently the game thinks it's based off a Ferrari. But anyway, looks really cool. I went for this sort of blue and black theme. So this is like a black livery that you can apply to the car. Some pretty good customization on this thing as well, um, surprisingly. Um, and there's a lot of pinstriping on this car, which is not really visible in this garage. But if you take it outside, there's loads of little pinstripes everywhere. And it just makes the car look incredible. And then we've got the Benefactor Krieger based off the AMG Concept 1. So really cool car in real life. Um, incredible car in GTA. I think I'm right in saying this is the most expensive supercar in the game. This is £2.7 million. And unfortunately I didn't win this on the lucky wheel. So I have £2.7 million invested in this thing. Um, but it is an incredible car and I think it's the fastest supercar or certainly in the top three fastest supercars with the Emirates. Um, incredible customization, some really cool liveries for this as well. Um, looks really good and it's uh, yeah, obviously one of the better cars in the game. And the last car we've got over here is the Osiris. Um, a very underestimated, underrated uh, supercar. Based off the Pagani Huayra. Looks incredible. And it sounds really nice actually. Not much customization on this thing. Just went for a nice red and carbon fiber look with this. But I really like this car. And not many people own it. So it's something unique to own in GTA. Okay, so then we move over to the facility. Um, this is sort of my weaponized car uh, garage. And the first car, well, first vehicle we've got is the Avenger. Super useful. If you don't have one of these in GTA, definitely get one. Um, just got it in the matte black color with the lime green. Obviously you've got the VTOL takeoff mode, you can customize your weapons in the back and some of the vehicles also need to be customized in the Avenger. So if you're thinking of getting one of these I definitely recommend it. Much better than the MOC, it's a lot more practical and obviously it can fly which is a lot more useful. Then we've got the thruster in a similar paint job, the matte black with the green. I've got the Jato thrust bottles on the back. Uh, not much to say about this one, it's a jetpack and it's quite a cool thing to have in GTA. Um, moving on to some of the vehicles in here. Ignore this bright pink LG. That's um, definitely not from a car duplication glitch. Um, so the first car we've got in here is the Juco Death, a really useful weaponized, well it's not actually weaponized but it can tank I think three homing rockets um, and it is bulletproof as well. It's a muscle car which is pretty cool and so it can do wheelies which is sort of a useful feature um, but it's basically the armored Karuma just a little less bullet resistant and a little bit more rocket proof which in my opinion makes it a bit better and I think it's a, along the similar price line then we've got the Scarab added in the Arena War DLC got it in this orange and matte black paint job um, based off the Ripsaw tank from Back to the Future 
why did I just say Back to the Future? I meant Fast and Furious 8. Um, really cool vehicle, nice um, for off-roading, and I've also got some NOS on there. Then we've got the Bravado Half Track, a really unpractical vehicle. The weapons are crap, the turning radius is crap, it's slow, but it looks really cool and it's awesome to take to car shows. And the other cool feature is it does have a tow bar on the back, so as well as having the guns on the back, you can also tow the anti-aircraft trailer with this thing, making it quite cool. Then we move over to this side. First car we have the Insurgent, just the regular Insurgent here. Um, just gone for this matte black with the lime green. It's sort of a recurring theme in this garage, um, but I just think it suits this vehicle quite well. And just got some chunky off-road tyres on there. Not much to say about this one. A very practical vehicle for running around in online can ram cars quite well and it tanks um, homing rockets like nothing else. Uh, then we've got the Night Shark, basically a smaller, uh, faster version of the Insurgent, but it does have similar um, rocket proof, if you want to call it that. This thing can tank about 20 homing rockets. Um, and you can actually fit it with some armor plating on the side which makes it bullet resistant. I've not gone for that option uh, but you can if you want to and it does have a tow bar on so you can pull the anti-aircraft trailer with this thing if you want to. Then the last vehicle we've got is the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Basically a, a carbon copy of my Insurgent over there. Uh, but obviously it's the pickup version so it has the gun on the top and people can sit in the back as well and it also does have a tow bar on the back there so you can pull the anti-aircraft trailer with this thing. Okay so then we move over to the final garage I'm going to be showing you which is actually my aeroplane hangar so this is obviously where I've got all my aeroplanes we we'll start it off in this corner with the Vestra, a really cool two-seater private jet. This was added back in the Finance and Felony update, uh, where we got the yachts and the offices and that kind of thing. Um, not really much you can change on this, just obviously the green and white paint. Um, so that's really cool. Then we've got the Hydra, just kept this in a sort of metallic colour. I think this is just um, one of the metal th um, colours that you can get, I can't remember which one. Um, but just looks really simple, really useful vehicle. It has the VTOL mode so you can take off basically anywhere. It does have explosive rounds on the cannon as well and it does have homing missiles. And it's a jet, so it's pretty fast. So if you're looking for a good way to travel across the map, very useful vehicle. And if you can't afford to buy it full price, then this thing does come on discount quite often. So make sure you pick it up then. Then we've got the uh, Ultralight in this corner. Uh, really cool vehicle. Um, not very good handling, but it's just a generally cool little fun sort of plane to have a go in free roam with. Then we've got a buzzard again in metallic sort of colour. Not really much to say about this, I just paint it in this metal colour. Very useful vehicle though again in free roam. Uh, then we've got the Jet Sam Cargo Bob again added in the Finance and Felony update. Um, so this is the the Jet Sam version not the like army cargo bob. Um, and I've tried to make this look like a Coast Guard helicopter and this is a really cool plane well it's a really cool chopper because the ramp on the back you can actually open that and people can go in the back which is really cool and it can also hook cars so a very useful vehicle definitely recommend getting one of them then we've got the crop duster over on this side been in the game since day one a really cool um, fun plane just to have a mess around with it's only 200 grand so it's not that expensive 
and it can actually um, it can actually like dust the crops so you can actually spray pesticide out of this thing if you hold X um, so that's a really unique feature no other plane in the game has that so kind of cool um, then we've got the Dodo seaplane really like this plane it can land on water as well which is kind of unique um, tried to make this one look like a Coast Guard plane as well um, yeah not much to say about it but it looks really cool then we got the final plane which is the the Mammoth Tula and I tried to make this one look like a sort of Coast Guard plane as well this one can also land on water um, and it also has the VTOL takeoff mode and I've got the JATO thrust on the back here which is these sort of four little jets and obviously it has a machine gun on the back a really cool plane very underestimated in my opinion um, and it can also drop bombs which is really cool but that is going to do it for this video guys I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at all of my cars in GTA 5 let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite and why and also don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video for loads more videos just like this one. Well that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.